welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. Today, I wanna to give you guys a glimpse of what I eat in a day, the foods that I consume. I'm very intentional about what I choose to put in my body, and I wanna show you what my day looks like. Come with me, I'm gonna show you now. guys, I'm glad you took the time to join me in my vegan kitchen because I do want to show you a little bit of what I consume on a daily basis. No, every day is not going to be the same. It's not going to be exactly the same, but this gives you an idea of the types of food that I choose to eat, why I choose to eat them a lot of times or all of the times because I'm, I am very intentional about what I choose to put in my body. It has to be protein, fiber, minerals. It has to be everything that my body needs to thrive. At 53 years old, I can say I am in the best shape of my life. I make sure to exercise, eat right, and get lots of rest. So the first thing that I consume when I get up in the morning, guys, you know it. If you watch my videos before, it's lemon water. A nice big glass of lemon or lime. I just squeeze half of a lemon or a lime into a nice tall glass of water and I consume that. That will help to get your digestive system going. Yeah, it gets you ready for the day. So if you have to consume food or if you're gonna exercise, it helps you start your digestive system so you go to the bathroom because you need to get rid of that waste in your body. It is also going to help to hydrate your body. So that is the first thing. The minute you step out of your bed, that's what you want to get in your body. Right after I get my body hydrated, I will sometimes meditate or I will go and get my workout on. I work out seven days a week, guys. So two days it's walking, two days out of the week I'm running, and three days I'm doing weight training or strength training, whatever you want to call it because I need to keep this body tight and right. Ladies, don't be afraid of the weight. I know it seems intimidating. I know, especially if you don't know what to do, you get in a gym and you're, you just think like, if you lift weights, you're gonna have big muscles. It doesn't work that way, not for females. I've been working out for probably 30 years and I'm not muscular, guys. I'm nowhere near a big muscular man but it's very important to have muscles. Muscles help for you to get rid of fat. It helps your metabolism. It helps you burn any kind of fat in your body rapidly. So you wanna have more muscle on your body than more fat. Yes, I do cardio. Cardio helps to get rid of waste. It helps you sweat, so that's getting rid of waste. But I can't stress enough, guys, get into weight training, start light. I would probably suggest get a trainer if you don't know what to do. Hire a trainer for like a month, maybe two months. And once you know what to do, go ahead and do it on your own. But that's my little spiel on weight training. So once I'm back from my workout, I got myself cleaned up and ready for the day, the first meal, and that's usually around 11 o'clock, right? The first meal for the day. So I've been taking these multivitamins for about a month and a half now. I absolutely love them. No longer that I have to have multiple bottles of vitamins to get my whole complete what I need to take, right? All I have to take is this one gem. The gem bite is convenient and it looks like food. You know why? Because it's real food, guys. The body absorbs real food better, way better than powder pills. In this gem bite, it has pumpkin seed, turmeric, you could tell by the color. It has quinoa. You know I love quinoa because it's a complete food. It also has black pepper that's gonna help the turmeric absorb more into your body. So they were very intentional just like me, I'm going to recommend it for all you guys. This right here is everything. I usually have this with my matcha latte. <laughs> Let me chew. I actually look forward to eating these every single day. I wish I could have more than one, but you only need one in a day. Guys, use my code MYVEGANKITCHENLIFE to get 50% off your purchase. 
I'll leave the link in the description box, so check it out. So with my Gem Bite, I'll usually have a matcha latte. I have fallen in love with matcha, guys. And matcha is green tea. It's the powder form of green tea, and it's absolutely delicious. It's easy to make. You just simply add water. Um, you want to whisk it. So some people use like a bamboo whisk. I just use the regular old whisk, and I whisk it up and make sure that you get all the lumps out. I add milk, and in this recipe, I'm adding hemp milk. Sometimes I'll do hemp milk, sometimes I'll do oat milk, but again, I'm really intentional. So I did hemp milk because I wanna get the protein. On this day, I've done a heavy workout with weight training, so I'm trying to get as much protein back in my system. I do have it on my website. I'll leave the link. Just click on it. You could purchase a matcha right from my website. All right, guys. So once that two hour or so have passed since I've had my vitamin and my matcha, it's time to eat a real meal with something filling, something that's going to make me feel really full, energetic, and it's going to deliver everything that my body needs. So this is quinoa. And you guys know quinoa from, you know, having it as a rice substitute, but this is quinoa porridge. This has become my new obsession, guys. I've literally had quinoa porridge for the last two weeks every single day. Love it, love it, love it. It makes me feel so good. It gives me energy, it makes me feel full, and it keeps me full for hours. So basically, I cook the quinoa, um, and I'll have a recipe for you guys. Don't worry. It'll be listed below. I cook the quinoa kind of like if I was making, cooking it like, you know, rice. I just add a little bit more water, some salt, vanilla, um, uh, cinnamon, all that good stuff. It cooks up to this nice thick porridge, just like oatmeal. So kind of put in the sense of oatmeal. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Today, I'm going to have it with some uh, vegan yogurt, and this is coconut vegan yogurt with strawberries and a little agave to sweeten. I do use plant-based milk and water to cook my quinoa. The plant-based milk of choice, which is always my favorite, is hemp milk. But yo, when I tell you this is like the best, that you, you guys got to try. Venture out a little bit and try things that you wouldn't think that would be, you know, the norm. This has everything, like I said, vitamins, minerals, it has protein, fiber, iron. What else could you ask for? I love this porridge, so let me dig it. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. It's so good, it's so good. Oh my gosh. All right, guys, now it's time for dinner. And for dinner, I'm gonna have a fat ass salad. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll notice on my stories every day, I'll post different meals that I eat throughout the day. And at least five days out of the week, I'm having a salad. Salads are one of the best things that you can eat because you can add a combination of almost every food group within that salad. This salad that I'm gonna make today is gonna have black eyed peas. That's gonna be the star of the show. So follow me and let me show you how I make my salad. So I've already went ahead and chopped red onions, half of a red onion and mushrooms. I'm just using your basic uh, white mushrooms that you can find at almost any grocery store. Like I said, black eyed peas is gonna be the star of the show. This is my protein and my fiber. And you notice it's in this mason jar. What I normally do guys, and you know you, food prep is gonna be your best friend. So at the beginning of the week, I'll prep certain things within my, that I'm gonna need for my meals. I'm one of those people, I can't do a whole meal prep for the seven days of the week because every day I just kind of want something different and it depends on my activities. So I will decide usually on that day. That's why I make a variety of different beans. I'll sow chickpeas, black eyed peas. If you come with me over here, let me show you real quick. In here I have mung beans. Let me just dig in there so you can see. That's what they look like. And that's just been soaking overnight. Soaking your beans is gonna help to, if you normally get gassy when you eat beans, soaking your beans will help to eliminate that. And this one, there's my chickpeas. My chickpeas has been soaking overnight. So I usually just overnight, I'll put them in these bins, these bowls right over here, cover it up, and then the next day I'll cook them, and then I'll transfer them to these mason jars. All right, my pot, 
It sounded like it's ready to go. So let's grab everything and let's head to the other side. Let's go. All right, over here in my skillet, it's already been heating up. I'm gonna add some avocado oil. And I'm using a nonstick pan, so I'm not using that much oil, probably a tablespoon or so. In the pan, I'm gonna add my onions. Let's get all of it in there. Because we wanna really flavor up these um, black eyed peas. And then I'm gonna add my mushrooms. I'm gonna just use a spoon. It's on medium heat, so it's not too hot, not too low. Not too high, not too low. All right, move that around a little bit just to get the oil to just kind of coat the mushrooms and the onions that I have in the pot. Now, for my black eyed peas, I'm just going to grab a strainer, pour off the water, Let's get most of the water off and let's head back to my pot. Place it all in there. And we're just gonna allow that to really heat through and cook up. And then before I start to season it or add any of the other ingredients. All right guys, come on in. So now that I've got the onions to a translucent consistency like this, this is what we're gonna do now. And this, we're gonna have to talk about. So again, if you guys have been watching my channel and you look at my recipes, you know what my two favorite things are. Shout it out, Korean barbecue sauce and coconut milk. But there's been some changes, guys. I don't think they're making my um, Korean barbecue sauce anymore. It's the old food brand. I usually get it at the farmer's market or the Korean market, like H Mart or um, any kind of Asian market, and I can't find it anywhere. So I had to go to Whole Foods and Whole Foods actually came out with a new, um, not Whole Foods brand, but this brand right here. They've come out with a Korean barbecue sauce and it's pretty good. What I love, and sometimes, you know, we have to accept change. Even though the Korean barbecue sauce that I had before, it didn't have high fructose corn syrup or MSG, and that's usually what I look for to make sure those sauces don't have it. It did have some ingredients that, uh, you know, were kind of questionable. However, this has all natural ingredients. So I made a switch and I think well, this will be better. The only thing is with this, you have to season. So it's not as salty as the other one, which can be a good thing. So I'm gonna add a little bit of my vegan, vegan kitchen life all-purpose seasoning. So I'm gonna add that now and get this you know, seasoned up because it, it gotta have flavor, guys. It gotta have seasoning. So I'm gonna get that in there, right? You could get it right in there. And then I'm gonna add, and you can see I'm down to the end on this Korean barbecue sauce. I'm gonna go ahead and add my Korean barbecue sauce. And I'm not gonna give you guys exact measurements. It kind of just depends on what you're feeling. If you like it saucy, add a lot of sauce. If you don't like it as saucy, don't add as much sauce. I'm gonna add coconut milk. That's gonna help tonight give it a nice thick gravy. Come on in guys, take a look. That's it, that's all the cooking you're gonna need to do. Everything is cooked and it looks delicious. Saucy, you got gravy, you got flavor. Now, let's get to making the salad dressing. Again, very easy, and I suggest to you guys, make your own salad dressing. This is a really easy salad dressing. It's a garlic tahini, and I call it garlic tahini because it's garlic and tahini, so let's do it. I have tahini sauce, which is just um, uh, uh, sesame seeds. I always screw up on that part. I always wanna say it's something else, but it's just grounded sesame seed. Seeds. This actual brand is easy to use because it's squeezable. Not that I'm promoting the brand, but I do like it because it's easier than the ones in the jar. That's usually just, you have to like mix it really well. So there's my tahini. I'm gonna add some lemon juice. Get a good squeeze. I'm gonna add some nutritional yeast. Nutritional yeast, guys, have a lot of nutrition. It has protein, it has vitamins and minerals that your body really, really needs. So again, notice in my meals, I'm very intentional about what I'm actually creating and I'm making sure that almost everything has some kind of nutritional value that my body is gonna be able to use. We're gonna add a little salt. 
some olive oil, not a lot because the tahini does have oil in it, but we just want to loosen this up a little bit. And to sweeten it up, some maple syrup. You could also use agave. Or if you don't want to use any of these type of syrups, you can also use a date. The date will thicken it up a little bit, so you might need to add a little bit of water. So that's it. I'm just going to blend this up, and that's going to be our dressing. All right, so my salad dressing is ready. The only thing I forgot, <laughs> and you guys might have missed that, I forgot to put the garlic in there. So I popped the garlic in there, and then I blended it all out. So now we have a good, delicious salad dressing. There it is, guys. You know what? It's time to plate. So let's plate it all up. Got two bowls here, one for me, one for the hubby. I have my a salad spinner with my freshly washed and spun romaine. In the romaine, I also have some cherry tomatoes. So this is just romaine and cherry tomatoes. Let's get it in the bowls. Let's make the larger bowl for my husband, the smaller bowl for myself. Give them a little more, and there I go. All right, pop that on the side. I also am going to add cucumbers, and I peel and dice them, as you can see. Give them a little bit more, me and me. All right, these are just some shallots that I just thinly sliced just to add flavor to my uh, romaine lettuce. There we go. You know, you wanna have different textures, different levels of flavor, and that's gonna do it right there. Add that in. Add my salad dressing. Got my little spoon here, my spatula, sorry. Get it all in there. And then we're gonna to top it with our black eyed peas. So here's my black eyed peas. Oh! I'm forgetting one more thing. Un momento. We got to add a little body to this salad, guys. How am I forgetting this? I guess because it was in the air fryer. This is just sweet potatoes, diced sweet potatoes. Obviously, you have to add a, another level of um, some kind of carbohydrates, right? We got to make sure the salad is filling. All right. So get that all in there. All right. Now it's time for the black eyed peas. And we're gonna place the black eyed peas right on top. There we go. It's nice and warm. And I know some people say they don't like a warm salad with like, you know, cold and warm together. You know what, then wait for the black eyed peas to cool down. That's what I say. Let's add some more. So as you guys can see, this is a fat salad. This, this is, this will fill you up. This is not just your regular basic, you know, little bit of salad. This is enough food, especially for someone like myself, or as you can see, like my husband, we work out every single day. So we need that nutrition. So don't worry that being on a plant-based or a vegan diet is not gonna give you enough food and you're gonna become skinny and weak. That is not gonna happen. I've been vegan on and off for 30 years, but mostly, or all vegan for at least 10 years now. I don't think I'm like skinny or frail. I'm very strong. Like I said, I feel healthy. I feel great. I, this is the best I've ever felt in my whole life. Guys, thank you so much for joining me in my vegan kitchen on this What I Eat in a Day. I hope some of these ideas will transform into your own life. Join me again next week for another easy and delicious recipe. Don't forget to subscribe, tap on that bell, and I'll see you next time in my vegan kitchen. Bye, guys.